Howdy once again, it's Mr. Pete, your internet shop teacher, and this is short subject number 10. Now, I hope that you watch short subject number 9, because in that video, I talked about the virtues of stubby drill bits as opposed to regular jobber length drill bits, and how that might help you in your shop. But in this video, number 10, I want to talk about the virtues and the handiness of stubby reamers. Now, no one in the world has ever talked about stubby reamers because they don't sell these, and there's a reason for that. So let me explain that first, and then we'll talk about my selection of short reamers and why I use them and why I like them. Let's go. It's extremely hard for me to keep these videos short as they're supposed to be, but let's go ahead anyway. This is a standard drill index for jobber length drill bits. This is a standard Hewitt container for a set of chucking reamers. Now, these are called power reamers or chucking reamers, and there are other names for them as well. But notice how much longer that Hewitt case is than for drill bits. So what? You have seen me use this reamer index that I made years and years ago. So on one side there are chucking reamers and then on the other side hand reamers, reamers. and you will notice that a hand reamer is shorter than a chucking reamer and that's proportional in all of the sizes. That's uh, 3 sixteenths. The other one here was half. About 50 years ago my brother took a whole bunch of chucking reamers and he hated the length and there's a reason for that. When you go to set this up in a drill press or a mill you have to raise and lower the table constantly because these are so blame long. So he took all his reamers and I believe they were at the high school before he was at the college and cut them off and then found out that to some extent that didn't work because apparently the reason for this real long shank here is to allow there to be some flexing in the shank to help the reamer align with the hole. Now when you cut them off there's going to be very little if any flexing and they may ream oversized because in effect you have <laughs> changed this a little bit to a boring bar. So don't get carried away and ruin all of your reamers and then blame it on me. But this is just a fun video. Now I'm not going to lie to you. I've only had these reamers for about six months and they came in a recent auction. And matter of fact they were in this box and it is not necessarily a complete set. I never have measured them because remember that when you amputate the end, you also amputate the trademark and the size and all that good stuff. So these would have to be miked in order to read the size. And I have used several of these very recently. I know that some of my critics were cringing when you saw me handle these, you know, in a bunch like uh, cordwood or something like that. You're going to dull them. You're going to dull them. You're thinking, well, you are true and correct to some extent other than that's the way I bought them and they've been banged around for years and a lot of my older reamers are just held in bins like this or whatnot but of course the correct way to store them is in their original factory tubes whether they be clear plastic which fall apart by the way or these cardboard ones or if they're in a rack like this one reamer cannot touch another and cause them to dull. Very quickly, some of you may be wondering, well, what's the difference between a drill and a reamer? Well, a drill cuts on the lips. The flutes out here do no cutting whatsoever. They are used to guide the drill within the hole. A drill bit does not drill a very accurate hole and not a very round hole. So if you want perfect holes, you have to either bore it or ream it or both. 
and the reamer cuts on the flutes on the on the edges here not on the end reamers are used only to enlarge holes not to form holes so for a half inch reamer you would typically drill the hole 1 64th undersized so now you know what a reamer is if you didn't before and yes it was Bubba that cut all these reamers off but these are both half inch reamers and look at how much shorter the stubby one is. It's a full, almost a full, four inches shorter than the regular chucking reamer. So this gives you a lot more uh, convenience when we set this up in a drill press or a drill. And let me show you. In this picture, these are the stubby reamers between my fingers. These are standard length, but as reamers get larger in diameter, they become outrageously long. This one is ten and a half inches long, and that's a problem when you're on a lathe, too, as far as backing up your tailstock and all of that. So that's part of what this video is about. I'm at the bridge port, but the same would apply for a drill press, so this is a... 31 64 drill bit here. Look at how far it extends and I talked about this in the previous video as opposed to using a stubby drill bit so that you do not have to raise and lower and crank this table and wear yourself out and discourage yourself. So as an example here, notice there's already a hole drilled there. I don't know if it shows up, but let's just say we just drilled it with this and now we're going to ream well, look at how long that reamer is. Now, I'd have to lower this table considerably in order for that to fit, and then possibly have to raise it for the next operation. So, look at how much more handy that stubby reamer is. Of course, I'd have to relocate this to the center of the hole by the digital readout, so I would not have lost my positioning there. So, do you find that to be a uh, suitable uh, solution to something that annoyed you? Or am I foolish in telling you this? And I don't want you to go ahead and ruin a bunch of your reamers, but desperate times require desperate solutions. So, let me know if you like this video, or is this something you would never do? I'm not totally sure that I would hack these off for a reamer that I paid $40 for, but that was the convenience of running across this selection that I paid almost nothing for because I think probably everybody thought Bubba cut these off and I don't want to own them. But I like stubby reamers, but beware of the fact that they could potentially ream oversize. That concludes this short video. Thanks for watching. Be sure and watch all the videos in this series. This is Mr. Pete saying so long for now.